Hello Libra, welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to be doing a love reading for your sign. So first we're going to see how the person, your person, um, feels about this situation. Okay, so what I'm getting is that this person doesn't feel like this um, relationship or situation is something that they can rely on. So for whatever reason they feel like they like this isn't um, something stable for them. So I'm not sure exactly what happened there, but something kind of triggered them to think that this, um, I think they want something like perhaps long lasting with you or um, within this situation, but like they, something happened to where they think that that's not possible. So let's see why. Um, they could, I feel like it's because of some personal issues on their end or because they were hurt by something and they, something happened to where, I don't know if you like did something to this person, um, but they feel like you, like they want an apology or they have yet to heal, they either have yet to heal from something that you did to them or, um, or something that like something happened with between you two that hurt this person or in their past they haven't fully like accepted something um that happened in their past they haven't healed they haven't found forgiveness for themselves or for some other person so if you did something to this person that upset them um then it could be that they haven't forgave you for something so that's why they feel like this isn't really something stable, or maybe like, yeah, for some reason they think you owe them an apology. Um, either that, again, or if you really didn't do anything, or you really feel like you didn't do anything, um, this person could just be very sensitive, or um, it's something from before you guys met that this person has yet to um, accept, heal from, um, find forgiveness in, all of that. So. They are just perhaps unstable themselves. But again, yeah, if you did something to alarm this person or upset them, then that's why they, whatever happened, um, they have yet to forgive themselves maybe for something or forgive you for something. So, um, how you're feeling towards this person in the situation. Um, Okay, so I think something, definitely from what I'm seeing, something happened to where you feel like, I get the feeling that you're confused and that you don't want, you're confused like emotionally about how you feel about this situation and part of you wants to walk away from this, I'm getting, but then part of you like, part of you wishes you can fix things, whatever happened, um, like you want to make things right with this person, you want to fix whatever was broken, but at the same time, like, you're confused on if that's possible, so, I'm really not sure what happened between you two, but, um, something to where, something to where you both feel like this situation might not be able, um, to be fixed, but I'm definitely getting that you, you want to fix it, you don't want things to stay in this kind of broken state, not really necessarily broken, but you don't want things to stay in this, um, I guess, like, unstable or just not balanced, um, you're not feeling very balanced emotionally about this, or you're confused, um, on how you feel about things again. Um, okay, so the current energies of the situation and you guys, yeah, so there's just a lack of, like, teamwork, oh, I'm gonna take both. There's lack of teamwork in this situation, like you guys aren't seeing eye to eye, you aren't working together, perhaps you you guys aren't really communicating, but I see that you both mutually have some hope left for this situation, like you still have um, 
something to say to the other person, you still have passion for the other person, they still have passion for you, but you just aren't. This just isn't something that's stable, like, it's not some steady, happy um, union with you guys right now. And you guys just might not be talking as well, but yeah, it's like, um, there's just a lack of balance. Um, maybe, perhaps you gave more to this person than they gave to you, or vice versa, they gave a lot to you and you didn't um, equally return things, but it looks like both of you kind of just feel like you want this situation to be better, or fixed, but, or healed, this person wants, like, forgiveness from you or um, they want to forgive you but they just don't know how to get there but there's still some like hope I don't know it's kind of confusing you guys still have hope about this and like passion I definitely see that this person still thinks about you in this situation and like I couldn't I'm getting that this person kind of sees you as the one for them despite but they're kind of confused because it's like in the lover's card. I'm gonna take that because I just looked at the bottom of the file. So like, yeah, again, this person sees you as like their person that they want to go about life with, but it's like, so like in some aspect they still, they want to go about life with you on some journey, you know, because they still have hope for that, like that you guys could be partners or something if you guys aren't in a relationship, or they still hope that, or if you are in a relationship and it's just not stable, like they hope that you can get to this place of just like, peacefulness together but at the same time it's like conflicting because you guys aren't it's not something that really is looking balanced or is looking stable or the communication is off in some way like there's definitely passion for each other but there's just some sense of confusion on on either what went wrong or how to fix things if you're certain of where things went wrong um, or if yeah, yeah. So I'm going to pull one more card as to why, like, maybe there's another more information about why things are so imbalanced. Things are so unstable. Hmm. So, someone wasn't feeling like they're, it could have been you, like, you felt like this wasn't, stable either you or this person if this isn't you then it's this person that feels like things aren't stable because their emotional needs um weren't or aren't being met in this situation so even if you expressed some love or emotion to this person like i feel like there is a lack of what i'm saying there's like a lack of communication of what this person needs emotionally or you didn't communicate what you need emotionally so there it wasn't stable because their communication was off and it seems like there's a lot of passion but like the emotion wasn't um the emotion wasn't reciprocated so someone started to look elsewhere or the emotion wasn't reciprocated in a way that this person receives well so if you like express something to this person or it could be that they express this to you, this go both ways with these cards, but like, um, it just wasn't what the person needed emotionally. So that's kind of what went wrong and why things weren't, um, balanced. So yeah, um, yeah, someone didn't feel like this could fit or suit their emotional needs, but at the same time, like, there's still this hope I think within both of you that you could have that you could be together um, so yeah if this person walked away from you I feel like or what I'm seeing is because it's not because they didn't have emotion or passion for you but like they didn't know how to go about um, being with you or you didn't know how to go about being with them in a way that was like suited for you. So this person went to go find someone who they feel could fill, fill them emotionally. Or if you walked away from this person, perhaps you were seeking someone who could, or something else that could fill you, fulfill you emotionally instead of just communicating with this person about, um, about what your needs are. Or this person just didn't communicate with you about what their needs are. That makes sense. So yes.
just lack of communication about um, emotional needs is what most likely set this situation out of balance and also um, religious factors your love life is influenced by your religious upbringing and spiritual path so perhaps you guys have differing um, religious backgrounds and that could be why someone as well walked away like maybe if I assume you're probably spiritual if you're watching this but could go either way you could have different um, differing religious backgrounds and that could have set this out of balance as well or um, made someone feel like they wouldn't somehow be fulfilled emotionally in some sense or like they wouldn't be accepted or something like that but there still is this like hope and I wish I had the... I'm gonna get them there's like these twin flame cards so I say this person could be your twin flame if you know what that is you can look it up but like basically like um basically like a soulmate um this person could be your soulmate so you still feel very connected to this person um if you are in communication or you feel connected even if you are in communication you feel like you're connected like in a deeper way but um and i think that feeling is mutual is what i'm seeing there's some something happened um okay i'm going to pull one more of these unrequited love there's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going so perhaps what I'm getting is this person felt like how they feel about you is unrequited I think that could have been both of you either that or it really just is a situation of unrequited love and someone didn't see this as stable and walked away because they didn't um they couldn't reciprocate the emotion, but, um, I mean, considering the lover's card in the seven of wands, I think, like, I think someone just didn't feel like their feelings were, um, reciprocated, but that might not have been true. Um, that's just what someone believed about the situation. So I'm going to get one more of these, actually. But, like... Yeah, um, someone just felt like their emotions weren't requited. Could have been you. So, like, if that's why you walked away and you were, like, hurt, or that's why they were hurt, you were hurt. Um, they felt it was unrequited. So, finances and career financial issues are a factor in your love life right now. So, if someone walked away to go find emotional fulfillment elsewhere, um, if this person walked away from you, they could have felt like, they could have felt like, you didn't love them in the same way that they loved you um, maybe due to some religious factors and they went to go focus on their finances and career or you did or both of you did um, so yeah someone someone just decided to go find try to find emotional fulfillment in their finances and it looks like it could be this person um, went to go get fulfillment elsewhere um, yeah like and I don't see that they want to go get fulfillment with like another person per se but I think like they just decided to focus on um, their career because they felt like their feelings weren't requited and you could have different religious backgrounds that um, that influenced their decision as well so yeah I feel like this person felt like Either if you if you felt accepted by this person, then they didn't feel like they could be accepted by you, or if you didn't, or or you didn't feel like you could be accepted by this person, um, or you felt like they couldn't understand you. So in some way that, like, made the other person feel like their love was unrequited, or you felt like they couldn't requite your love, they couldn't reciprocate the same emotion that you had because they couldn't, um, you felt like they couldn't accept you or understand you. So, um, I'm going to get one of these cards. I don't really do these in reverse, but this was in reverse, if that means anything to you, but, um, Lost and found. What was once lost is about to be found thanks to the lost and found fairy. Sometimes she can help us find things we never even realized were lost. So, hmm. If 
you feel like you lost this person, um, there could be some unseen forces outside of you that are going to bring you back together. Um, or this is just something, a general message in your life, something that you felt was lost um, may somehow come back to you. So if you haven't heard from this person, if you haven't talked to this person in a while, perhaps um, the fairies will bring you together or whatever will, um, some outside forces will bring you together. So yeah, I get that like, You might be feeling that the situation is lost, but there still is this hope there, and there still is, um, I think, mutual, a mutual wanting for something, a mutual want to be connected with each other. Um, yeah, still some hope, but then also like confusion on both of your ends about that. So, lost and found, security. So. Someone could have felt like, your person or you could have felt like this, um, like they weren't, your person could have felt like they weren't secure enough for you or financially like secure enough, like they didn't have their career um, and finances sorted out in their life, like they felt like that was a mess and they didn't want to, um, they didn't want to get into something with you or something serious or reciprocate your emotion when they needed to focus on their finances and career. So they wanted to have some outside security in their life. Um, and I think that could have gotten in the way of, of whatever happened or is happening between you. It could be in the way right now. Someone feels like they need, they need security, like they want something that they can trust, um, perhaps it's you, you want something, you want to be able to trust this person to feel secure in, in loving them. Abundance. Yeah, so again, it's like, um, someone wanted to be secure financially before, before they could express their love. And so maybe they were just so focused on their finances that they, you felt like um, you lost them, but they were just focused on their finances really, and you thought it was maybe unrequited because they were just focused on their finances. That could, I do see potential for you guys being together in the future, but it's just like, Someone has to focus, this person perhaps has to focus on their career and finances and get that sorted out and like get in a stable place in their life if they're not stable right now before they can offer um, something serious to you. Alright, so this is you and your energies in this situation. Turtle, so you could be moving very slowly. Um towards this person, um, if you're in, like, no way I'm reaching out, um, you could just be slow, not necessarily, like, slow, a slow-moving person, but you want to, um, have a slow pace in this, um, in this situation. You don't want things to move too quickly. Cute! So, um, you guys are both from the ocean. I love when that happens. So you're the turtle and this person is the sea serpent. Um, so I think this person is kind of stuck in... I see that you're moving forward in your life, perhaps away from this person, perhaps towards this person. You could, but either way, it's like you're taking your time, you're pacing yourself, you're not rushing in your life, um, you're not really in a hurry to get anywhere, but you are going somewhere, if that makes sense. And it looks like the person that you're dealing with in this situation is stuck on some kind of, like, they're stuck in some kind of cycle or loop, and this could be in regards to you, that, um, they go through this cycle of, like, wanting something serious, but then 
feeling hurt by this situation. Um, or, or it's just a cycle outside of you that this person goes through um, in regards to love and romance in general that they just kind of get stuck in this loop um, is what I'm getting from this. But I feel like they're seeing their way out of this and, and eventually they're going to come out of this because um, they're aware of they're aware of this loop at this point. Maybe at some point they weren't aware of like this cycle that they go into. Um, and I think like you have may been conf you may have been confused about what happened, but it was something that this person it's something outside of you that this happens to this person. Like they get caught in this cycle of something of feeling hurt by the other person or like things can't work out like a negative thinking or something of the sort and um yeah so this person is aware that they do that now and maybe um things can come back together for you guys at some point but i see that you're kind of this person is still stuck still stuck in their ways for the time being and i see that you're moving forward in in your life, um, or perhaps you're moving away from the situation like you kind of just want to get over it, um, but if, if that's not you, if you don't want to get over it, then you're slowly moving towards something that's secure with this person um, once your finances are in order, or this person is stuck in a cycle of maybe not expressing their emotion um, because they want to focus on their finance and career, if that makes sense. So this person is kind of stuck in um, moving away from people to go focus on their finances, but they're aware of that now, so I think that this person is trying to find some healing they have yet to find it, or some forgiveness with themselves that they have yet to find, but I do see that since they're aware of this cycle that they go into, that they will come out of it eventually, um, so I hope that made any sense, um, thank you. I hope you enjoyed your reading. I hope you enjoy your day.